what it do youtube it's your boy cam uh back in here with another video man today we finna speak on the phoenix suns yeah that's right the phoenix suns the super team there is you know uh, which is three stars you got of course katie devin booker and, and brad bill didn't really get to talk about them um but lately and Today we finna um we finna speak on them man. Can can the Phoenix Suns win a championship? Uh, and will they stay healthy? Because that that that's the main that's the main question, you know. Uh, you got KD and uh, you know two of two of the three best players who are injury prone. And KD and um Brad Bill. And um Yeah, man, can can they win the can the Phoenix Suns win the championship? Do I think the Phoenix Suns can win the championship? Look, man. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm not really a fan of the Phoenix Suns, but I think they're one of the teams that they they, they can win a championship. If, if they can stay healthy, they can win a championship because the, here's the thing. I know they don't have a pure point guard or a pass first point guard, but their offense is so lethal because you got three guys who can score from all three levels. Is it? Is it's kind of like it's kind of like pick your poison, really, because you can't really guard these guys one on one, and I know. Everybody gonna say, "All right, all they do is play ISO ball." Well, if they force you to play ISO ball, if they, if a team is forced to play them ISO ball, and they or yeah, like um, they force a the team to play ISO ball, they might end up winning that battle. I'm not gonna lie, y'all, <laughs> because bruh, they're efficient. All three of these guys are efficient from the, you know, uh, I think Bradley Beal last year shot like 50% from the field. Um, his three-pointer, the last, his three-pointers the last few years been kind of, you know, um, slacking down. But uh, I, for the most part, Bradley Beal is one of the best scorers in the NBA. And in the end, he's one of the most underrated players in the NBA. And um, and I it's crazy because you know um, injury has kind of like um kept him under the radar as far as being one of the best scorers in the league, and people forget like what two three I think it was two years ago he led the league in scoring at um for in Washington. I think it was the year he played with Russ, I want to say. I think it was that year. But, uh, yeah, man, they got three of the prolific scores, bro, who could just put the ball in the cup. And Devin Booker, bro, ah, D-Book, D-Book, I, I think D-Book is locked in this year, y'all. I, I think he, uh, he's locked in. The, you know, the, the ball is in his hands more. Cause he got he got to kind of uh, take those take you you know he got to kind of um, do the point guard duties, facilitating, as well as going to get his bucket when he can when he wants to. And um, I think they're just doing it by a committee. You know, Kevin Durant, of course, Kevin Durant is one of the best scorers to ever play the game, and you know. 
the Phoenix Suns, bro, they they, they can win the championship. Now, will they win the championship? It's a, you know, that just all depends on health and matchups. But they definitely with the, with, with their score, and I know it's gonna be. I know people gonna say, uh they're gonna say defensively. I think they got guys that's really not like as under the radar. They're role players yeah, that can, you know, play defense. You know, they got Josh Okoge who can. Um, he can play defense. He's he's a good defender. He's a good solid defender actually. Uh, now the problem with him is on the offensive end. He need to, um, when he's wide open, can he knock down shots? And they also um, they got Bates Diop from the Spurs. Who's he's a, he's a, he's a pretty good. He's a pretty decent defender. Uh, He's a pretty decent defender. You know, I also have Grayson Allen, who gives effort. Grayson Allen is not the best of defenders, of course, but he gives effort in. He, of course, we all know he's a shooter. And um, uh, who else they have as far as defensive? They kind of do need some rim protection. I'm not going to lie. Because uh, Eubanks, I don't think Eubanks, he is it. And, of course, we all know Nurkic can't play a lick of D. And, and if the, the longer they have him out there, he's going to get killed. Um, But I think pretty much, they're, pretty much their offense will be their defense. You know, I think they could, their offense will... You know, uh, be so lethal that they don't really have to play <laughs> elite defense like that. If all three of them are on the court, if all three of them are on the court, y'all, it, it, it's going to be hard to stop them, bro. Because they are like Brad Bill and D Book, KD, they can just get a bucket when they want to, bro. And it's like they're sh That's the thing, like, they so efficient. People. Got to realize that uh, basketball for some guys, uh, I know you have to play as a team, but those guys are are really, like, they're not selfish in a way. I, I don't think D Book is a selfish player. I don't think Bradley Beal is a selfish player. I don't think, of course, Kevin Durant, he's not a selfish player. So I think they can they they can make it work. They just gotta stay healthy. They just gotta, they just gotta stay healthy. They just gotta stay healthy, man. Health is the health would be the main um, problem, main main issue. If they don't win the championship, or if they don't now, if they run into a bad matchup, like I I believe the Clippers will if. The Clippers are healthy. The Clippers are kind of like a bad matchup for them because they can go, they can pretty much match up well with them. You got, you know, Russell Westbrook and um, Kawhi Leonard and PG, two of the, um, who are their best players. And they're, they're basically like the Clippers' best players can match up with the Suns' best players, as well as like the bench as well. They got guys like Norman Powell. The Clippers got guys like Norman Powell and those guys. Uh, who can uh, <clears throat> who can who can contribute scoring for the Clippers? So I feel like they if they run into the Clippers again, um, and the Clippers are actually healthy. I I would probably pick the Clippers, but as far as if they get like a, I would say the Lakers kind of I would say the Lakers kind of match up with them too, because the Lakers have size. And Phoenix don't really have no size like that. They don't really have a lot of size. I, oh, I take that back. Phoenix does the, they because they got Bobo off the bench, who they can just throw in. They just don't have no rim, like no elite rim protection. Yeah, that's just really the only thing with Phoenix.
it's, it's, it's them not having no rim protection like that. I mean, I feel like if they do play your Bobo or some minutes, he can help with the rim because he can block shots. But uh, I think the Phoenix Suns, they can win a championship, man. It's just everything has to go. Everything has to go right. Um, everything has to fall in place uh, for them. Yeah, all the right things have to go for them to win the championship. That's for any team anyways. But um, they definitely can win with because it's just that offensive, power, offensive firepower it would just be too much for um, some of the teams in the, in the league. And um, I'm not picking them to win. I'm just giving my assessment um, <clears throat> on the Phoenix Suns. I actually want them to lose. <laughs> but I'm being realistic. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, man, that's all I had, man. Phoenix Suns, they definitely will be um one of the top teams in the in the West, and we'll we'll see what happens, man. Can't wait till the season start, man. We are a week away. Gonna be lit, y'all. Gonna be coming with more content, so make sure y'all tune in. Uh, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe, share this like, share this video, and I'm out.